Query parameters can now entirely replace your state manager with Tanstack Router. Welcome to the third episode of this series on Tanstack Router. Today we're gonna see how this library will help us defining and validating query parameters and how they can basically act as a state manager. In short, by sending the URL of your application, you can immediately send a snapshot of your state with basically everyone. Enough talking, let's start coding. We can create immediately a search.tsx page and as usual, if you run npm run dev, our bit plugin will basically generate the file for us. So now that we have this root, we can create a link in our root. Let's create a link here so that we can access to our page. There it is. If we open the browser, we can find, okay, here, if I click search, hello search, and this is our page. Now let's configure our query parameters. The first thing you might want to do is, well, we're defining what is considered as valid. So why not just creating a type? In this case, this type has a couple of primitive values and another subtype with a union of literals. Now, how can we tell Tanstack Router that we only want query parameters that are exactly matching this type? As usual, in the create file root, there are quite a lot of methods you can add here. And if you search for validate search, well, this is exactly the method we need. Now, this method lets us return something, and this is the data we're going to parse. So first of all, what does validate search let us use? Well, here I can define an object, and I can say that this is a record of string and unknown. So this means that our search object will catch everything that gets passed as query parameter, and we can use it here to, in fact, validate what our object should look like. And here Copilot is already giving some suggestions. And now, if I fix the syntax, we can see that this is in fact a function reading our query parameters and returning our item filters object. The goal now is to try to read our parameters. So let's get rid of this component and move it in a separate function. We can call it search and obviously define a function search here. Now, as usual, if we want to read something from our root, we already saw with Tanstack Router that most often you can just write root dot use something and use search is the hook you're looking for. From here, you can immediately see that if I try to destructure this object, well, this will exactly be the items I defined right above in the item filter type. So moving on, I have this three objects here. And for example, if I want to read them, I can, I don't know, maybe print in them with JSON stringify. And now if you notice, this file has an error. Where is the error? Well, it's quite simple. We define that our root must have these parameters following this type. So if we go on the root link, this link will say that there's something missing. And well, this object must be defined somewhere. And again, if you know Tanstack Router, similarly to the Pokemon example we did here with path parameters, here we had to define params, which was our path parameter. And well, here we're talking about search parameters. So here we must specify search. And guess what? This already autocompletes with categories, has discount and query. So for example, we can now jump to our application and if we click search, you will find that these are the query parameters that are exactly the same that we passed right here. So if from here we change has discount from true to false and I save, if I go back here and go on search again, has discount will obviously be false and you can also see it here. Before talking about sharing the state, let me spend a few words about validation. Here we just define this type and we say the kind of custom validator which checks if this is a boolean and if categories are within the category union. But we can do something more. If you're using a library such as Zod or Valibot, you can already use their built-in validator and parser. And let me paste some already written code. And this is exactly the definition you will get if you're using Valibot. 
Now we get a lot of errors because obviously we have to install Valibot. And with that, now that we can use our library, we can restart the TypeScript server. And here you can see that this category and these item filters are pretty much the same. And if you want the type, well, this is syntax of Valibot. You can define a type, item filters with v.output and type of item filters. So in this case, we again have this type with all the values and we have the validation here. So instead of using this custom function, we can basically get rid of everything and return search. We don't even need the type because we're gonna use valuable.parse, item filters and search. So what happens here is that our valuable, but Zod does exactly the same, will do the parsing function and making sure that everything is valid according to this definition. Now that we said that all types are optional, as you can also see from here from the types, all the question marks, I can finally get rid of those defaults here. And well, if I run again our application, if I didn't break anything, it should work. So yeah, I go and search, and this time it is empty because we sent here empty search params. But as I promised, I say that you can use the query parameters as in fact your state manager. So let's see how you can do that. An initial approach could be just, okay, I can use useState from React using query as the default value and maybe adding an input here. What I'm expecting now is that if I go on this page, I change something here and nothing happens because I should print local query. So local query here and yes, this is working. And if I go on query parameter and type hello, this will obviously already update my input and I can keep changing and it works. But as you can see, the URL is not being updated. So we might need a different strategy. Instead of using use state, we can think of we navigate on a different URL every time something changes. So instead of again using local query, we can get back to query both here and here. And our input now, instead of setting the state, will basically navigate to the same route we were, as you can see by the spread operator here, adding query the value of our input. Now I can get rid of the errors by removing the imports. And with this syntax, I can also change the URL every time I type something here. And well, looks like it's working. Every time I write something, it updates my object and it updates my URL. Starting from this point, let's make it a little bit more complete so that I can catch all the values. So what changed here? Well, in a few seconds, I can already show you that I keep reading the parameters with root.useSearch. I keep navigating from my current route and basically every time I change something, I navigate to the current route and I change the value I'm in. So here, for example, if I change the query, I update the query. Same for the checkbox with has this count. And again, same for this select, which is a simple HTML select. And the final result will look like this. From here, if I click the checkbox, you see that has this count appears with true and false. It's also updated here in the URL. And same if you select one or multiple categories, all of them appear in the URL. And like I said, this is in fact a state manager because I'm not holding the state in a React use state, but I'm holding everything inside the query parameters. And like I said, if this is, for example, a dashboard with configurable widgets, or maybe a search page with some custom filters, instead of telling someone, go select those filters, your application can simply support someone sharing the link and all the values are automatically transferred to the end user. Wow, this library is so powerful. I hope you're enjoying this series on Tanstack Router and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because the next chapter will be about authenticated routes. Basically some pages that can be accessed only if a condition is met, which the most common case is only if the user is logged in and or has permission to view that page, well, you can do that with Tanstack Router. And that was it for today. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye.